Hello everybody and welcome uh, to this live stream event. We are finally streaming One Man in Nobody uh, for tonight. This is our first of uh, two events that we are going to uh, have during the Steam Next Fest. Uh, we hope everybody is going to enjoy this beautiful and fantastic festival. Uh, we've seen a lot of uh, great demos and we are looking forward to play uh, as many as we can. There are too many just to uh, be played all at once. And I'm here with my uh, Chestnut team. I'm Mark on the game developer, but uh, this is a team of five people. And let me thank uh, all of them. Um, they, they basically traveled with me um, all this journey uh, towards the release. And by the way, the release for this game is going to happen in one week. And next Tuesday, uh, 11, October 11th, uh, there's going to be the full release of the game. But for now, for this week, uh, you can enjoy the demo. Today we're going to play the, the full game, so uh, stick with me for the next hour, because we're going to progress as much as we can. And don't worry about uh, getting too much uh, spoilers on the game, because the, there is a lot to uncover throughout the, um, the whole game experience. So um, let's, let's start. And we are here in the, in the main menu. I don't think uh, anybody is a big fan of uh, UIs and, and menus. But anyway, uh, we have just a bunch of op options here uh, to mute the sounds and change your language. Uh, the game has been localized for now for the launch in two languages, uh, English and Italian, because we are a small indie studio based in Italy. And so, of course, we uh, decided to uh, localize the game in our own language. Let's start playing. The game uh, is going to offer you two type of uh, game modes. The first one is the story mode, so the classic one. You go throughout the whole story and uncover the, um, the, the secrets uh, hidden in this mysterious place that you can see behind in this main screen. Uh, it reminds uh, to, to many people, and uh, we don't deny it, that we took inspiration from Blade Runner. So um, this is a, a futuristic dystopic world. The, the story takes place um, in the future, not so far future, where the humankind is at, like the, the future is at stake, and there is um, an urge to find an, alter an, an alternative energy source. And we're going to find out what kind of energy source uh, they are running in this uh, mysterious building, and we'll see what our main character, or many characters, um, what kind of role they're playing in the story. So, Enough saying, let's start with story mode. The, the game starts with a kind of flashback. There is this, um, uh, you, you're going to meet the, the doctor, the, the scientist, and uh, there's going to be this first confrontation between the main character and uh, the doctor. The, the character is ob obviously confused and uh, the doctor is trying to uh, calm it down and say, okay, <laughs> hold tight on that gun, don't shoot. Uh, I can help you out and make you uh, find a way out of, it, out of here. And, you know, everybody's gonna be happy with, uh, <laughs> with hopefully uh, a happy ending. Anyway, we're gonna start. The, this is the very first beginning. So we're gonna play the first tutorial levels. Uh, our character finds himself in like coming out from this mysterious machinery we're gonna find out what's what's gonna be like soon and let's see let's try to uh, go to the first exit and move to the next room let's see what, what's gonna happen you're gonna find several of these computers uh, in the game and I suggest you to um, find them and um, read the, the like the messages because it's it's very important i mean this is a platform puzzle game but uh we spent a lot also on the um, like writing a good story and so it's imp it's important i think in our opinion if you want to enjoy the full experience of the game to um read all like the the text and the diaries that you will find um throughout the game Okay, now we are in second level. Uh, by the way, you can play this game with a gamepad. I'm playing with an Xbox controller, or you can play it with your keyboard. Uh, both works pretty pretty well. I prefer uh, the gamepad, of course. I'm a more a gamepad player. And um, so we 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 find there are, there are a couple of people here trapped. Um, they like our character uh, seems to be willing to to free them. 
but of course they there is something pretty odd about them and it's that they look uh, pretty much like us. So uh, what, what's wrong with this? Uh, we need to find out why these people are looking like us and why they are chained to this kind of um, like uh, iron steel bars. I don't know, they, it looks like a prison to me. Uh, apparently there is nothing you can do uh, to free them for now, but let's see in the future like well, what we can do for them. All right. Now we have another of these uh, kind of weird machinery thing. Um, there is a message. Uh, we found a first message from this Mr. Nobody. Uh, we don't know yet who he is. Uh, it's going to be one of the main characters uh, in, the, um, in the story. And is suggesting to get into this machine and that it won't be pleasant. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. All oh, right, this is the, one of the main core mechanics of the game. Um, besides the platform elements, cloning is a very crucial thing. And the first levels and throughout all the game, we are gonna introduce you um, to all the different kind of um, mechanics and things uh, in which you can and you should use at best the, the cloning, as well as different kind of clones. We're gonna see that there, this is like a one of the three types types of clone uh, that you can create it's uh, like uh, we we call it kind of a single clone because you can switch between them uh, using your trigger button or using the keyboard uh, the q and e buttons but we're gonna have more uh, which will make the the kind of game experience more interesting all right, this is one of the levels uh, in the beginning in which we are introducing you one of the um, core uh, things that you can do with clones, which is, you know, uh, jump on top of each other to reach higher places. This is very important and sometimes you're going to have more than two. Um, it, it depends, like, of course, uh, on the kind of level you're going to play. We move forward, we are almost uh, out the first uh, six tutorial levels. We, we have more story here and one thing that is very very important and Mr. Nobody is telling us is that uh, we have a maximum number of clones that we can have in each room. You cannot uh, create as many clones as you want otherwise the game would be completely spoiled and ruined but uh, on the top right uh, of the screen uh, where you can see one slash three out of three so it means that you can have at maximum uh, three clones in this room. So I'm going to create the first and if you follow me in the previous one, the second thing I should be doing is to create the second one and jump on top of it. All right, uh, this fella seems to need a lot of help, but for now we cannot do much about that. Another key element of the game uh, are the key cards. It's very, very important and we're going to see um, soon why they are very important, but I strongly recommend you to look for them uh, in the game and they, they are very very important because as you will see in this level for instance the the door the exit door has a red key card if you haven't collected the, the corresponding ca um, key card you cannot uh, get through uh, that level and you cannot unlock other areas so I encourage you to explore the map there are uh, there is red button here and with buttons uh, a very important thing is that if you look uh, underneath the button there are symbols and this is to um, make you focus on what button is connected to what thing in the level it could be a door it could be anything else uh, we'll see more and more gameplay elements in the game but always look for the symbols because it's very very important to understand what you're gonna do with the button sometimes uh, if you uh, trigger the wrong button he can kill you <laughs> I assure you that um, all right so uh, it's saying that we should avoid very country with the exhausted cells side by your heart's a risk dr. simple I assume Dr. Sinfeld is the, um, the doctor, the, the guy we met in the very first cutscene of the game. So, and here our character, of course, is pointing out that the red key card is something that we need to pass, get passed through this door, and we did collect because we we built the level so that <laughs> you you are forced to do that. Anyway. Um, 
the, the math exploration is uh, non-linear in a way that um, there is no kind of linear progression but you, you know uh, as you can see you get different paths and again I we encourage you to explore um, as much as you can because you need to find the key cards and uncover also the the story and the secrets of the game. I'm gonna progress in a, I think, linear way, so eight, nine, uh, and, and so forth. So uh, we, we're, I'm gonna show you <laughs> a bit of everything in the game. So let's play this one. This gets a bit more interesting now. So we have two different um, mach like machinery things. So first clone goes here and second goes on the other side. Uh, what it is, I can't uh, see. Let's see what's inside. I had to find this. Doctor Sin fell. He could have answers for the madness going on here. For sure, he will, and they won't be pleasant. I, I would say. So, let's go and open this door, and let's go and open this one. And now we are all set to get to the exit. By the way, guys, if you have any feedback on the game uh, or if you want to chat with us, uh, anything you, 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 you wish to ask from our team, we want to remember that we have a Discord channel and please join our channel and meet us there. We will be more than happy to, to you know, talk about the game and anything you, you might want really to ask. Or otherwise, if you are more into like asynchronous social in a way, uh, we have also a Twitter account and we post there many things related to the game, but uh, we are also steering towards um, a game dev oriented channel. So we're gonna share also some game dev tips, game dev tutorials. If you are uh, a game uh, developer or game designer, uh, other than of course being a, a, a gamer, we also encourage uh, you to join us in the, um, on, on Twitter as well. All right, we are at level nine. Of the, all right, there's a terrible smell, like they can put some flash. All right, that's, that's pretty horrific, I would say. Okay, let's go down here. We have a button. What else? Okay, the button opens that door. Okay, there is a message. It's still nobody. Is it still you or just not a copy? That's an interesting ethical uh, question. There's kind of a moral dilemma that uh, we've been asked from um, other people as well. I mean, how this character does this character know what happened in the past if this is not that guy? This is an interesting question that we want. Uh, we will let the answer <laughs> to to you guys, um, but it's uh, we, we have our own answer, and we're gonna um, reply on that on Discord if you join us. Anyway, so it seems that I cannot clone anymore, and this is telling me that I should be ready to sacrifice sacrifice myself for the cause that's interesting sacrifice myself this is uh, another uh, key um, gameplay mechanic sometimes i know it's it's a hard thing to do and it's maybe not the best thing to do but you have to kill some of these clones to to move forward and i think this guy now has to die and jump on these bikes because otherwise i couldn't have cloned this guy up here and it would have been impossible for me to get past this level. So what I'm gonna do now, let's open the door, switch. Yeah, I guess our character is not very happy and is a bit shocked. I can't believe the price to pay to get out of uh, this place is this high. It is, and it's gonna be higher and higher. I've seen people playing this game, killing hundreds of these, so it's gonna be very, very high, my friend. Um, let's move forward uh, all right level level 10 now oh, let's do first the level 11 level 11 all right yeah, we should be careful here dropping okay we have the first one clone here we have the blue key card all right this opens this door i got the key card and by the way, in order to really get the key card, uh, you should complete the level. It's not enough to get, collect the key card and kill yourself and go back to the previous level. No, you have to finish the level. All right, I need to sacrifice myself to the cost. So I'll do this here and then jump and go there. Same thing here. And now I'm gonna 
jump, precision jump, and I'm out. Okie dokie, let's go to level 10. Oh, the level 10 is gonna introduce something uh, new about the game. Um, let's see. Um, as our character is saying, there's something different about this machine. And the um, symbols at the bottom, uh, they look different from the other ones. If you notice the previous one, they had uh, two guys, like one standing and another like walking, moving. But this one uh, is looking different and they are like both walking, walking and moving. So we are bound together. This is the kind of uh, second type of clone that you're gonna have. So they move together. And this is something uh, that actually, when we were making the game, this is something we thought about it. Like uh, we were thinking about building a game that was totally uh, made with linked clones. And so clones that were bound together but it didn't really work out so uh, it took a lot of iterations in order to understand like the, the right compromise between kind of independent and linked clones all right we're gonna get to the exit now and now we go to 11 12. oh by the way another thing here uh we we have three uh themes or three areas of the for the whole game we have the factory where we are now we have the laboratories and we have the headquarters so uh, there's gonna be a total of 100 levels and it's um, if you if you ask me how many hours of gameplay I would say uh, between 10 and 15 it depends how skilled you are of course uh, with uh, platform mechanics but also how smart you're gonna be about the puzzles because it's gonna get um, harder and harder. By the way, if you wanna um, uh, see more about this game, um, especially um, like the other areas, because I don't think that in one, in one hour we're gonna cover, maybe, maybe if I'm fast enough, almost to the end of the fir first uh, factory theme, but if you're interested in seeing more, we had two uh, truly awesome live events, uh, live streams from DJ Rebirth on Twitch. And I don't know if he's um, listening and if, if he's following the, the live event now, if he's, uh, I say hello to him, but it's been truly, truly uh, awesome. Um, he played the whole game uh, through the um, 100 levels and it's been fantastic. Um, it's very long live, there are two parts, seven hours each, and this tells a lot about the, um, the gameplay length. Anyway, let's go to level 13 now. All right, level 13, this is kind of a, a twin tower level. Anyway, there's gonna be a lot of up down right there's a button here remember the symbols below these are very important all right i'm gonna clone myself here jump up uh, okay i have three clones so i need to kill one of them and i would say this one you're useless right now sorry man okay let's go this way okay now it's time to push the button like the technical brothers would say so one has to die, which one? Which one I would say this one? I think, it, yeah, this one. This one's gonna die now. Not you, you're gonna clone yourself and you're gonna go all the way up. So far, so good. We, we are at level 14. Level 14, all right, I remember this one. Let's see, okay, this open that door actually i don't think there was anything up there nothing important i believe anyway okay this open this door let's this guy come in move a little bit all right now i need to go up how do i go up oh most likely this cloner would yeah teleport me up there so i'm gonna kill myself I'm gonna clone go up Open the door and we're out. Proceeding pretty fast. Let's go to level 15. Level 15, all right, a lot of stuff here. Let's see, this goes there. 
and as I told you earlier, the symbols below are different. When you have like a, a standing man, a Vitruvian man, and a running one, it means that they are um, kind of individual, uh, disconnected clones, otherwise they are connected. I think, yeah, uh, down there there is one connected clone, so let's start from top there, and let's see. Okay, this one would be connected, this one no, so let's go here. Okay, these two are connected, so what the, this does is to open that one, okay, so get, oh no, maybe it's better, yeah, I should clone myself first, and then this guy goes here, oh, but they are connected, so it's kind of one of uh, the things you have to learn is, um, kind of align them properly because if they are not aligned properly you see you you cannot complete this level but one thing I can do is to have this guy pushing towards the door and that's it that, that is one and like another mechanic uh, of the game so uh, keep uh, keep taking notes because it's gonna be very very important in order to complete the game all right, we have this kind of elevator here. It's connected to the button. Let's bring it up. All right. And now we go up there and clone our cells down there. And so precision jump. Okay, this opens that thing. And what does the other do? The other opens the door. So yeah, I should open the door. Go down with this little dude, go there, there is not a platform. All right, so now I need to position the platform so that it's in a middle ground that I can jump from there and get up there. This should be enough, I think. I think it's maybe too much. No, now it's too much. Let's go a bit down. Yeah, that should be about right. And this one. Anyway. Let's see. Okay, not long now you're getting close to the uh, two reactors. Yeah, thought. All right, a lot of confidence from this Mr. Nobody. Seems he's really counting on us. Doesn't have a lot of trust, but he's gonna regret it. Okay, now, 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 let's see, where should we go up there? Well, if we go left, we see that it's locked the area, most likely the green key won't be here, so good work, Chestnut. Let's go to this level. All right, let's jump, okay, this opens the door there. i close myself, this little dude, Ooh, all right. That was the first death, it should have happened. Ah, uh, this is the second one, and now the third for sure. Anyway, let's see, I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna take a ride. Oh, no, I should have taken the guy with me. Not gonna leave you behind, man. Just hanging there. I'm gonna come to pick you up. I'm gonna jump here. And... Oh, actually, there are two ways to... Oh no, there are not any more because the game designer apparently changed the, the, the level design. Good job, Sandro, because uh, previously there was another way you could complete this level, but he fixed my hack. So let's do it like this, and yeah, I will leave the guy there. He's gonna die anyways. So let's move to the next level. Let's move, let's move. Level 19, level 19. All right, then, this is getting a bit spiky. Okay. Let's read more. I'm gonna take a sip of water. How is here at the right person only? All right, so we apparently made it to the first reactor. Should be the one up there. Mr. No oh, damn it. Alright, yeah, Mr. Nobody wanting us to destroy it. So let's try to make it happen. All right, what does this button do? All right, the door there. Okay, you little guy. Okay, you're almost there before you, before you destroying the main reactor. You have to deactivate the auxiliary one. There should be a button nearby. All right, I can see the button. We can see the kind of uh, uh, key symbol. 
You see, I don't really trust your intuition. All right, it, it keeps getting more and more friendly. I see. I think we're gonna good, we're gonna be good friends in the end. I'm pretty confident we will. All right, this guy has to go now because we need to turn ourselves and uh, let's see. All right, jump out! Oh, damn it! Nah, uh, no. Can I make it? Can I make it? No, I don't think I can. And this is something that. Uh, if you want to have a quick reload, you, you can use the select button or the R button in the, um, on, on your keyboard. Otherwise, you can go to the menu, menu with a start button and uh, retry. All right, I screwed up, so let's make it work now. Let's do it very, very quick. Speed run mode. All right, let's go here. Up you go, dude. You yourself. You go up, you go up, 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 and that's it. We just deactivated the uh, the second reactor, and so now it's time to move forward. Go to the exit, and let's see. Let's go to level, 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 level 20 or 21. Which one should I play first? Uh, let's do one after another. All right, this one seems pretty, pretty simple. There, there is a crate up there. Must be some other game elements. And I'm so bad at jumping today. It's been a very long day. We've been very, very busy uh, with the Steam Next Fest, and we've been following uh, the um, the other live stream. Uh, we haven't had dinner either, and. You can tell that I, I keep dying like a like a si very silly player, and I should be knowing this game better than anybody else. Anyway, let's go up to there. Right, Mario jump. All right, there is a crate, and the crate is gonna help me. Yeah, it looks good. Very can be moved. Yes, sir. Just push it down. And it's gonna help me. So we have the crates are gonna be a very very important uh, game element. Uh, they're gonna be useful in many ways. This is one of the ways in which they are useful, so to reach higher places. But they're gonna be useful also for other things like um, pushing buttons or we still haven't seen uh, like many other traps. But they're gonna help you with some traps with lasers, stop the laser beams and things like that. Let's go to level 21. Level 21. Okie dokie. Okay, let's see if I remember this one. I shoot. I shoot. I haven't played this level in a long time. Okay, this, open this and that. And there is crate. All right, so we are kind of introducing, or we were anticipating was a, what I was saying earlier. So that the crates are very useful to push the buttons because. As you can see, I have uh, at maximum of two clones. So if I push the buttons with two clones, nobody could go through the door. So I need a crate here. And this is gonna open that door. This will open the door down there. All right, so maybe now I remember. You little guy come here and you come here. Jump, jump, let's open the door. What I'm gonna do now, I think it's. Let's see if I, I think I. Not, I don't want to screw it up now. All right, I think it's the. Ah, oh, yes, now I remember. This little guy goes here and. Seems almost done. It is. I thought I didn't make it. Okay, let's go, let's move next, next, next level, level 22, guys. Well, well we actually made it pretty far, looking at the, um, at the time schedule. Uh, we actually started a little bit earlier. Uh, we, we noticed that there were already so many people waiting and we felt pretty bad <laughs> having you guys uh, wait there. So uh, we, we started, I think, 10 minutes earlier, something like that. Anyway. I remember this level. There must be a, a passage here that was pretty hard. All right, let's uh, go here. I'm gonna free this guy. I'm gonna push the crane here. All right, up there, up there. You go, you come.
come with me. Right, let's go here again. Let's do it. Jump and jump. Go there. All right. Time for a ride. Again, jump and jump. Okay. Okay. Ah, yes. This is another useful case for, for the crate. If I jump here, most likely I would kill myself onto the spike. So I would rather cover these spikes with a, a solid crate, maybe a little bit more without being too silly. And let's, oh yeah, sorry, sorry pal, I forgot about you. All right, let's go there, up there. Let's try not to get killed. Okay, now I need to, Jump, all right, okay, that's good. So what's gonna, okay, I thought that was gonna squash me into the wall. But it's time for you to go, my friend. Thank you for being with me. All right, so now we have, ah, damn it. I wonder why our game sign put the key there. That's one of the hard, this place all right i get it i i wanted to get hmm it's an interesting jump can i uh, i can let me the jump to oh yes yes i remember yeah i mm, uh, <laughs> i thought i remember but maybe it's the this one down here yes so now with two guys that was impossible with just one little dude. All right, old steady, old steady should be one, two, and three. Yes. See you in the next room. Okay, okay, we got the key. Now we're gonna play level 17. And um, let's see. Let's see, okay, this goes up. Up and down, okay. Let's jump, jump. Clone. Ah, yeah. All right, this one. these two guys are linked, so I better be careful. Double jump. I go up there. All right. Yeah, that, that's also another interesting you can do. It looks silly, I know, but it's uh, it's uh, it's very powerful to have two guys on top of each other moving at the same time because in places like this you can do the double jump from uh, from the top of the head of the other guy yeah i know it, it it sounds painful but it's it's very useful level 23 level 23 now we're getting more and more uh, into an interesting stage of the game let's open the door here oh damn it i remember this one Th this one it, it, it's it's kind of a brain fuck in a way. Uh, let's see if I remember how it was. I, I remember spending a lot of time on this puzzle. Let's see if I can. It would be pretty embarrassing in the live stream uh, about our game not being able to solve one of the, the puzzles. Let's see. All right, I think I think I. Yeah, I, I missed my chance of completing this level, did I? I think I did. Yes, I did, because I need two guys here. I need one guy to hold the button while the other one goes there. So, let's start over. So, I'm gonna clone myself here. I'm gonna move from there. I'm gonna create another clone. Now, I think this is the right solution. Uh, by the way, just uh, a quick tip, um, you can use the trigger buttons and if you use the um, L trigger, it's gonna select the nearest left and the right, the nearest right. Of course, if there, there is no nearest right, it's gonna start, it's gonna start from uh, the, the other side. It, it's helpful, it's something that, uh, it's one of these silly features that when you add into the game and you have a lot of clones, it was very annoying that you didn't know which clone uh, was going to be selected. So uh, we, we had this uh, very simple thing that actually makes um, the life of the player much, much easier. 
when playing the game. But let's see. Alright, this opens that. Okay, let's see. You little guy go here. What should happen to you, man? Eh? Remember, just to play safe, let's have it there. Or should I? Maybe I was confused. Let's see. Alright, this guy is here. This guy go there. You little guy. Alright, so you go here. There is. I need to bring one guy up there, which means. Which means. Which means. Alright, let's see. This will open the door, so one guy can go up there. And. Yeah. Uh, or no. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this goes up there. Here, no, no. I told you that this puzzle, I, I remember it on this level, so for now, let's read on this container, different from the others, let's see. The man inside is still alive, but he can't be freed. He seems to be connected to some sort of battery. So, I think now with the, the outline of the story is coming up, it seems that there are like a people being used as uh, like human batteries, living batteries. Uh, we still don't know how and why, but uh, it's pretty pretty creepy. I mean, I, I understand uh, the kind of uh, global emergency about uh, energy sources, but this is quite creepy. All right, I need to get one guy up there. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's see if I uh, go there. This, this guy can kill himself. If I kill myself, all right. Let's do it. The hard way. There. Ah, yeah. I was playing stupid all the time. Uh, that was. So okay, okay, okay. We're there, and we need the green key card that we do have and let's go to level 25 where is 24 24 most likely is this one so, uh, we need to find the yellow key card um, all right these two are connected so if I push the crate this is gonna kill it it's, uh, so uh, oh yeah, I should take advantage. I always take advantage of the environment. I mean, there are places or like spots like this, which have been uh, put there on purpose because this now uh, allows me to move the top clone uh, without worrying about pushing the crate. So I can move one at a time in, in a way. So now I need to push the crate onto that button, and it will, this will open the door. And Watch out laser beam and we're set. Level 26. Alright, this is something that needs good, very, very good timing. The, there is this kind of uh, laser elevator of death. Uh, so we have, as you can see, the, the symbol there and on the button here. Uh, this is a kind of elevator we should move and there is this platform moving so we should sync them together and have this guy drop onto the elevator so he doesn't get killed on his way down to his freedom so let's see this goes up let's see I, I don't know if it's good timing we'll find out soon I think it is it is it's perfect timing it is so all right we made it. it took me a very long time to understand this in the very beginning when i was playing the, the level uh, all right we have a crate um, our guide to come up with us 
All right, this is gonna stop the laser, so this guy can come up, go there, and then go here. Pushing the crate on this side is something that I cannot do because there is not enough room. But one thing I can do, yeah, now remember, and this is another useful case. We actually seen that in the um, in the previous level, but it's to use the crate as a shield for the laser. So now our little friend can come up here, and we can move the elevator, and he can. Leave the room and leave us behind. Okay, next, 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 next. We have 24, but let's play all of them. Let's. We're we're not in a rush, so we're gonna play all those. All right, this is one of the levels where you need to think carefully. Um, in this game, we um, try to balance. Actually, this this is uh, something that becomes more and more evident as you progress through the game. Uh, between um, puzzle levels and more action levels so to to give you a little bit of breathing time to think carefully throughout the level and not being stressed out by traps and jumps and things like that but you will see uh, maybe um, for maybe not in in this live event but if you're gonna watch the um, DJ Rebirth live stream uh, you're gonna see that in the second and the third area the headquarters these are much more action there is much more action in them and it becomes more and more difficult uh, as i told you um, dj played the, played the game for about 14 15 hours and it, it took 15 hours to complete it and actually uh, on the last level i'm not gonna spoil you anything about that but he couldn't complete that so he hasn't technically completed the game, even though in our hearts he did, of course. He was an excellent streamer and we really enjoyed the live stream. Anyway, before I do something stupid, let's see uh, what is this. All right, yeah, I did something stupid. I just killed the little guy there. But actually, that's what, that was something that I had to do. Or did I? Uh, I don't think... I think I did something stupid, but let's see. Uh, yeah, I, I keep doing stupid things because I'm not looking at buttons. So, all right, so, killer after killer. I don't know, actually, I'm, I'm doing this level. Uh, apparently, I'm, I'm managing to get through the level, but, all uh, right. So, there is the key here. And... Let's see. All right. So, right. I need to clone myself here. Apparently, I was so stupid and lucky at the same time that uh, I managed to complete this level without knowing how. Or actually, I didn't. Uh, let's see. No. Yeah, actually, I was just being stupid. Let's see if I can. Yeah, I think I can kill this guy down there using this kind of crab. And yes, all right. All under control. Okay, let's try not to ruin our great performance. Because now the mean designer did it so that if I were too happy and say, all right, I'm out of here and press the button, that would kill me. It would stop the laser there, so that the passage would be clear, but from behind it would be killed. So, you little mean person. Uh, I need, I need, I need, I need to get another one. Let's see. Oh, it's on the other side. All right, so how can I kill? little guy here ah excellent I just kill myself all right here and here okay 
all good. I don't think anybody really understood how I finished this level. Um, I I don't know either, but it worked. R random random strategy always works. Keep keep trying doing things when you don't know what to do. All right, there's a button here. Oh, little guy, come here, jumpy jump, jumpy jump. This is kind of okay. Block this. All right, stop right there. Stop right there. Uh, here. All right. This was fairly easy. And that's it. Gonna have more water. Always remember to drink water when you're playing games. It's something that I always try to do when, when playing uh, games for hours and hours, uh, like on my couch. Otherwise, I, uh, I'll find myself like a, like a cactus uh, at the end of the game session. All right, this one is getting interesting. That's the exit. Well, of course, we cannot go there. Let's see what this other one does. Opens the door there, okie dokie, and this one is gonna call me there, there as a twin, alright, okay, okay, so, let's see, no, that would be too simple, oh, maybe, alright, maybe, 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 I should have called myself another time because now it's gonna be harder. Okay, let's start it over. We said, okay, let's go. Oh, maybe, let's see. Just gonna call, okay, same thing. Same, same, same. I need to go up there, I think. Or, hmm, if I. Alright, if I'm gonna open the door um, out there, sorry guys, I'm thinking, uh, trying to find out the, the right solution, so maybe it's better this way, no, no, we, we need to do it this, this way, there is no other way, I think, so, or so I believe, let's see, let's see, alright, so, we get there, this little guy goes here, so this open door there. It's kind of tricky though. It's it's kind of tricky because I need to go up there. So I need somebody to go here. And but I cannot get the guy down here without this button. Hmm, that's, that's pretty interesting, let's see, let's see, I, I told you, it, I, I played this game forever, because I, of course I had to play test it for a very long time, but still, today, uh, it's it's very, very hard to remember how these puzzles were made, um, especially because most of these were, um, were made by uh, our game designer, Sandro, so... But he doesn't remember either. I'm pretty sure that uh, if, if I uh, gave him the controller right now, he, he wouldn't be able to solve this puzzle. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be. Let's see. Let's start over. Let's start with fresh mindset, fresh thinking, fresh, fresh everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. So again, 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 again. You have the door there. We have the guy. This. Oh, wait a second. 
Yes. No, no, actually. Let's, let's have three little guys come on all together. I, I, I don't think this, this was the how it was supposed to be done, but that's the, the great thing of this game. We've seen the, um, we, DJ Rebirth during the live stream that he managed to um, solve the puzzles in a way that we never could have imagined. Uh, because, uh, you know, when, when you are in need of finding a solution, you try everything that is possible. Uh, you, you can find very, very unique solutions. All right, so let's start. Let's bring this guy here. Okay. Now we're talking. Now, now we're talking. Now we go here. All right. So, so long, guys. I don't need you anymore. Okay. I don't need you anymore. But I do need this guy. And I do need the other guy. So, 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 so. so. Okay. Mm, this is tricky. Oh, don't tell me, I, I, I just, uh, let's see, uh, I cannot go like this, well, let's see what happens if I go, no, I cannot go there, oh god, this is, hmm, I think guys, I, again, I think, but, this should be actually kind of possible. Help me think. I might be missing something very obvious. Let's see. If I go there, there, no. All right, maybe let's try to do it this way. I'm gonna kill this guy. It's very annoying. And now I'm gonna do this, all right. No, no, we don't. Let's see, let's see. Quick run, quick run, quick run. This guy goes here. And I, 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 it looks like I'm moving back and forth, back and forth, but not doing any progress, or actually I'm doing. We're there, we're there, guys. It's, it's hard to live stream. English, by the way, which, which is not my <laughs> native language, and play this game at the same time. Anyway, we finally did it, and let's move on to level 20, 29. Yes, uh, let's have more water. Okay, this one, I remember this one. This I remember. Okay, the door there. Let's have this little guy move. Okay, so now we go up there. Let's see. Okay, this is opening the door up. And what is this doing? Oh, it's opening the other door. I don't know if I need to kill the guy on the left. But I. Mm, I think I do. I, I think I do. Let's see. All right. Yes, I do because now I, I'm not gonna have two like uh, link clones, but I have like uh, independent ones, and I can move freely. Let's see. Okay. Uh, now, all right. Now I can kill myself here, I think. Or actually, no. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I can. But I need to do something more. Actually, okay. this, this guy goes here and there. And now it's, it's, it's time to open, to push that button there. So you need to go. And you need to go right here. Okay, so we are in the kind of third stage of this level. And hmm, interesting. Who's gonna die? 
who is going to die or who is going to die. I think if I kill this guy, I can clone it from there, so I can sacrifice him for now. I'm in a, in a, in a safe spot doing that. Okay, cloning. And now we need this one pushed. Okay, and there is something interesting here. Okay, there is and it's opening the door down there okay so in order to get back down that's what I'm gonna do okay and we're good to go. very very good um I think let's see some of the statistics how, how much I played so far and um, there are some okay I play one hour one hour and six minute game, progress 29%, clones created 68, clones killed 33. Well, it went pretty well. Not too many clones killed, considering that uh, <laughs> you have to kill them in order to progress with the game. I still need to find this uh, purple key card. Let's see where it's hiding now. Uh, okay, seems pretty, pretty tight here. Okay, we have a crate. Um, by the way, these are one-way platforms, so I can come here. Uh, let's see. If I push the key button, the elevator is gonna move, but I see there is a, a laser beam there. It's gonna kill me right away. So what I'm gonna do here is to put the crate and use it as a shield and carry it with me. All right. Okay, so I just activated that platform there, and now if I'm gonna press the button, kind of the, the small one down there, all right, I, it's gonna stop the laser beam. Both of them, okay. But there is a big, big but now because 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 yes there is big but now i think i actually screwed it um i'm gonna show you why i, I just screwed it because now when i when i go up uh, you see there is the button there the red button that i'm gonna press and that's gonna open the gate so i can get to the exit but nobody can go to the exit and i had three clones i should have taken advantage of that let's see how Oh. All right, I got it. I should have two clones on this side and save them for later. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Go up, go up, push, 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 run, go there. Okay, so far so good. Be cool. I'm not gonna press the button right away because as you can see this will open the gate but it will kill that poor little guy there and that will mean not because the poor guy but because uh, it would have been impossible for us to, to pass if he died. Nobody was, would have been pressing the button anymore for our hero to get out of this. Level, level 32 let's try. all right now there there is some new uh, gameplay element in this uh, level and we're talking about some guards patrolling the area so uh, let's be careful of course I, I think they're gonna shoot us I need to get down there uh, there is a laser beam blocking or oh, actually going it's going to kill me but with the right timing we can do this yes uh, that was lucky at first try okay now I'm gonna show you what the guards are doing okay they're gonna shoot you and they will shoot you until you die or disappear they're gonna uh, not gonna run after you they are uh, pretty easygoing guards but they're gonna shoot you pretty hard Okay, now what is this doing? Okay, it's opening the gate up there. 
it's opening the gate up there and again I think I I missed okay I need to close the gate here and I need also to press the button in order to deactivate it. so you little guy all right I think I just killed myself let's see I can do it here so we're good okay let's close the door otherwise the guard is gonna shoot me all night long let's wait for the guard to go away let's wait for the guard to go away and now we can leave the yeah it's okay we made it only two levels to go we actually all the first area well of course it, it was pretty fast for me because I, I know the game by the bottom of my heart i've been playing for eight months nine months in a row so it's all right let's be fast here before i think I, yeah I, I screwed anyway i was saying i played for a very very long time but if it's the first time trust me that it, it's gonna take you some time to figure out the solutions uh, especially for the first year area in second and third area it's gonna take you time also for the as you can see in this level it's becoming more and more action um, if you if you don't get the right timing in the beginning of this level there is no way you can complete it so let's try to get um, a picture of the levels so we have the, the key there is gonna stop the laser and Okay, so we have a moving platform that goes up and down and we need to block that one in front of the laser beam. So we should be safe and we're gonna do it with the crate, with the right timing, yes, perfect. So now we can go down, okay, be careful. Let's wait for, okay, what is this doing? Okay, this actually stopped the laser there okay so now we need to wait damn it yes I knew it hey, oh yeah okay better restart it so damn it so let's let's do it again and this time okay so go down here okay we have the little guy all right we need to go on the other side and okay good so no now yeah exactly now we shouldn't do that let's see let's do it again and once again yeah now, now it's getting pretty pretty time based so Better be more focused on this. Let's wait for the box to come down to this moving platform. Okay, jump, jump, clone there. So, uh, let's wait again. So what we need to do is to get the guy on the right up there, push the crate and stop both the laser beams. So but I need to be careful because I thought it went up and down, but actually it went even inside that. Okay, so now we have the powerful box shield. All right, and we're good. Okay, so we just need to be careful now, but we have all the time in the world to jump on this. Yes, exactly what I'm I was trying to do and we should be good to go and that's it I don't know how much time we have left for <clears throat> this live stream last time I checked I, I, I think maybe uh, third 20 minutes 15 minutes I don't know uh, but let's play this final level of the um, for the first area all right, we have a computer. We have a message from Mr. Nobody saying you're almost there. Behind, behind the door, you'll uh, you'll find the main reactor. 
flip the switch to destroy it. Good luck. All right, let's do it. I'll see you. I'll see you in the labs. If luck is your is on your side. All okay, right. So far, it's it's been pretty much been pretty pretty good luck. All right. Now we need to play with timing. Okay. This is an interesting level. Um, what what we're gonna do is point the laser beam uh, at the guards and kill them because the, this is another element like a gameplay element uh, the guards can be killed and laser beams are one way to kill them there is also another way uh, actually yeah another way to kill them but I don't think we will manage to, um, to see that during this live stream okay so I have one guy down here uh, Okay, we have the key there. So what we need to do is up, All right? Okay, so let's get the guy up there. All right, we have a crate. Uh, let's leave it there for now. Let's go. Uh, let's see do this gonna open the door okay so we need another guy yes we we do need another guy uh, and we need him up there I think do we I think we do need him up there or do we all right I mean I think actually I Let's let's check it again. All right, yeah, that's what I missed. Yeah, you see that the kind of, this kind of uh, electric spark symbol here. There is a crate there. It should be moved in order for the laser to activate. That's what I was missing. All right, let's do it again. So first thing first. Over there, avoid him being shot. Up there, cloning. Going there. Up again down so, so we need to go there and then we need to move the laser beam am I gonna get killed let's see all right so we kill the guys we kill the guys but actually now what are we gonna do? Okay, now I know. Now what we need to do is to go back up there. I think that's a good idea and create another clone. So we have two guys and one can open the door and the other can enter. I think that's the right solution. That should be. So, if I remember correctly, let's see. All right, this guy needs a hand. Oh, I missed it. Yeah, he needs a hand, uh, so we need once more to activate that platform. Okay, good. So now we should be good. I think. Let's see. Okay. So you go up there. Go there. Okay. Now you push the crate. Yes. Right. Okay. There is a there is kind of a, a cloning, and uh, actually, this is something very important uh, during the game. You will find this cloning machine sometimes are um, used also as a good checkpoint. So if you get killed in that area, you don't need to start all over. So now it's um, it's a good time to, uh, you know, we, we, we don't need this guy anymore, so we can just kill him. And here we have our safe spot. So in case something goes wrong, this guy is gonna be able to clone the other guy and so we don't need to start all over again. So I need to push that button. Let's see what's gonna happen. Let's see. It's 
going to be pretty interesting. Let's wait for the guards to turn around. Let's wait for the guards. Alright, that was a huge explosion. Everybody apparently died. I feel pretty horrible. I mean, th th these guards... Um, uh, I, don't, I don't even know what they're doing here, uh, but they just seem like robots to me. I, I don't even think that they, they want to be in this, in this horrible place. But anyway, we've just finished the first area. So we have a second cutscene, uh, the, the flashback the dialogue uh, between the doctor and uh, the, um, one of our main characters um, uh, keeps going. So he's trying to um, explain like um, about Mr. Nobody, who is this Mr. Nobody, and explain that he's like, it's not alone. Uh, there is this kind of cloning factory and he's not the one, there, there is no one, but there are just many, many of them. And this is kind of one of the, um, uh, cri critical themes of the of the game. Uh, it, it also it, the game itself. The story revolves around the concept of identity. Uh, what is the identity? Who is the one? Is there one? And if there is, who is like uh, the original one? Is there even an original one? Because that, then everything gets pretty messed up, and uh, it's it's hard to understand who is who and who got to the very end of the game. We um, just unlocked the laboratory uh, theme, but um, I don't know for for now for today's live stream. Maybe maybe just a couple of levels to show you the um, the, the laboratory theme. So how it looks like and what's going to be new in this theme. I don't know if there is anything in the first few levels, but let's see. All right. So the doctor looks pretty desperate. The reactors have been uh, both destroyed at, um, at the same time. Uh, looks like it's not a coincidence. Something, something's wrong. Something's going on. Um, he's going to his office to figure out what's what's wrong in the in this in this place. All right. I'm sure that was Doctor Simfer. Of course he was. Let's. Uh, move forward okay so now 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 we need to open the door here let's do it all right now now i'm gonna get hit for sure let's see somebody yes i did so let's start all over let's do a quick restart so here there open here Whip. okay now i need to be careful I need to get up there. Yes, I just once more, once more, once more, once more, once more. To play again, be quick. Yes. Oh, damn it! Yeah, I was too quick. Let's do it again. One more, one more, one more. Let's jump here. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's run away. Let's run. And now, no, I don't have time to think now. That that seems pretty unfair. Okay. Now, 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 now. Okay. Now I I need to go up there. So yeah, another corner. Okay. This gets pretty complicated. Um. Anyway, guys. Um. I want to remind you for the. Like final time that if you want to chat with us and ask about the game, we have Discord, we have Twitter, and um, the game is coming out um, next week uh, on October 11th. So save the date; it's going to be one week from now. And um, we we hope everybody is going to enjoy this game as much as we did, um, like making it happen. Uh, it was a great journey with the team of Chestnut. It was our first title for Steam. We enjoyed it a lot. We are pretty proud of what we achieved. Uh, and even though we know there are many, many great games out there, but we are proud of our little creature, One Man Nobody. Anyway, guys, I think for tonight we're gonna um, we're gonna stop here. Me and the rest of the team. I um, I'm gonna thank all of them for uh, being with me tonight, and of course I'm gonna thank every single one of you for being with us and uh, like playing the game together. 
and I hope you enjoy um, this live stream of One Minute Why. So, there's gonna be another live stream on Friday um, this week at uh, 5 p.m. Central European time. So, if you just happen to be on this live event and you want, you're curious about the game, you want to know more, uh, remember that there is uh, another live uh, stream event. So, you can join us there. But for tonight, that's everything, guys. Thank you very much for being with us, and I'll see you on Friday at 5 p.m. Bye bye.